Oggi a Radio2.it continuiamo a parlare inglese. We, we continue to speak in English with our guest today. It's a pleasure to have Dan Grau from the University of Houston, Texas, professor of genetics. Welcome. Thank you for having me. How are you? I feel comfortable here. It's good. Perfectly. Too okay. much food, but good. <laughs> okay. You know, Italian food is like a tricky, a tricky thing, so uh, it can be. Uh, you are here for a special lecture. You're talking about uh, genetics, DNA, OGM, and all this stuff that implies modification. So I don't know if you have an opinion directly on the concept of modification. If you like the concept of modification, what's, what's uh, everything you eat is modified. Okay. I, uh, if it were a television, I would have shown you a banana. Do you think a banana is a natural fruit? More or less? No, it's no. more green. No. Have you have you seen uh, seeds in a banana ever? No, I don't think. Okay, so banana is a transgenic. Banana is an old transgenic. It's it's a triploid. It cannot even have sex. So it's a it's a Um, it's a GMO, uh, how do you call it? O, o oh, yeah, in Italy, in Italy it's OGM. It's OGM, OGM yeah. yes, it's, it's an OGM. Well. And okay. um, potatoes, tomatoes, they are also not natural. Uh, if you want to have natural food, you should eat um, the Solanum species. They are highly poisonous. Uh, Lucretia Borgia used them. <laughs> um, so you... Mm, Um, everything you think you know about natural food is wrong. In fact, uh, natural food, or what you call it, biologici, or whatever. I uh, see, yes, biologici. Uh, it's probably one of the biggest ecological catastrophes because the, uh, the carbon impact is huge. Okay. And uh, if you had to produce um, organic, biologici food for the entire world, you would have to use about six times the area of earth okay so it so could be a, a little problem maybe yes. okay so yeah. uh, w what's what's the point when, when we start to call them natural things and then maybe as you said they are not so natural uh, look i mean the the concept of natural food is uh, is wrong it, it assumes that plants evolved or were created for the purpose of us eating them uh, actually this is wrong plants have evolved lots of methods to, uh, to fight uh, herbivory, to, to fight uh, animals and people eating them. So they, they have spines and they have uh, um, poisons and they have uh, hallucinogens. And, um, so essentially what people did uh, from Paleolithic time is to remove by primitive genetics this trait. So you don't want to eat natural um, potatoes or natural tomatoes or natural um, um, greens or anything. I mean, there is no one food that is natural. I mean, okay. a natural chicken uh, lays about six eggs a year. You don't want to live out of that. You um, can do cakes with the six no, eggs a year? No, you cannot <laughs> do cakes. Uh, and... Um, Actually, uh, even drinking milk is not very natural because, I mean, do you know any other mammals that drink milk after uh, being weaned? Uh, in fact, humans have engineered, I mean, not engineered, but they selected themselves for a tolerance of milk uh, uh, in adulthood. Um, most people in the world cannot do that. Um, only Europeans, I mean, and those little, that from, little, from little Africa. Uh, so Dan, Dan you, your your approach to modification to transformation is like quite quite relaxing. I saw also a comic on your website that explains how you transform between 1999 <laughs> until now. That's <laughs> not genetic engineering. <laughs> that's food. Uh, yes, I, I um, yes, mm. um, many people in, especially in the United States and especially in Texas tend to gain lots of weight. Okay. <laughs> um, I counted since I came here in Italy eight days ago, I only met two obese people in the street. Okay. Two. In, in, in my university, if I walk from the building to where I park my car, I will meet about 80. It's because we eat natural things, you know. No, no, it's because <laughs> you, you walk a lot. Uh, in Texas, we don't know what is what walking means. There are no side, uh, sidewalks. Uh, 
So okay. we cannot walk. We have to drive from place to place. Also, the distances are huge. We have no public transportation. So and, there, is um, there is something we can and we, we can eat, exchange. It's maybe. not. Uh, it's not eating natural food. It's eating the wrong type of food. Actually, Italians uh, eat. In in time, uh, you you eat tons of of carbohydrates, which should have made you much fatter. I'm sort of envious that you're not. <laughs> okay, uh, talking about transformation, mm -hmm. if you can choose to transform something about you, uh, talking about the DNA or the physical transformation, what do you pick? Mm, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's very difficult because people tend to believe that you are your DNA. I mean, there is sort of predetermination that it's... There is a determinism. In fact, in newspapers, you see it all the time. They found the genetic basis for success, the, the genetic basis for infidelity, um, for fear of dental treatment or, or everything. Whatever, yes. You, you have it, but that's not really uh, because people pay attention to correlations instead of paying attention to other stuff. So genetics doesn't explain everything, but I don't know what I would... Um, i don't know, maybe um, a faster metabolism so okay. I, can, <laughs> I can eat a lot and still be slim like okay. the average Italian. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a good thing. Lu uh, Luca Parmitano, a few, few weeks ago, uh, went here to University of Padua, a famous Italian astronaut, mm -hmm. and he said uh, the future of um, um, uh, exploration could be also a genetical transformation of the man because he wants to he said he wants I want to have a, um, a tail that uh, can uh, uh, set me up in the terrain so I can explore well um, better he wants to be a kangaroo yeah no he wants to be a, like a um, I don't know four thing walking okay. with, with a tail he said like something like that uh, do you think well. it's 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 possible or it's good to think about i mean, things can be uh, modified, and, the, and tails, we, we do have a tail, only it, uh, if we can manage to activate the, uh, the muscles, and the, if we can make it grow longer, and if you can activate the muscles and the nerves to, for it to move, maybe it will be. I, I, I don't know if I want a tail. <laughs> uh, He wants them for technical purposes, maybe, to, just to, to actually, grab the terrain. Uh, actually, <laughs> the... Uh, There are other people who are thinking about the future and they think that, for example, at, we are now about 7 billion uh, people on Earth. Mm -hmm. And um, what would happen if we uh, were smaller? I mean, we are too big and we are growing bigger by, by the minute, essentially. Like in the NBA championship. Yes, we don't. <laughs> I mean, if you go to the, to the Netherlands, uh, I am 1 meter 92 centimeter and I still have to look up at people. Um, So maybe if we were smaller, we'll consume less and um, I don't know. All kinds of things can be done, but I'm, I'm not sure. And what about your, your idea on, this, on the ethical part of modification? Because the point is everybody uh, talking about, okay, we can transform that, we can, uh, I don't know, live better with this uh, thing, but there is um, an ethical topic too to discuss yeah, I about. Mean, no? I, I always think about... Uh, The, the, the famous Russian playwright Chekhov, uh, he said, if you put a, a rifle in the first act, you will use it by the third act. All the methodology exists. And people with money will do whatever they can to make their children better, because that's what we do. I mean, we have different ideas what, what better means. But genetic change will happen. Um, i don't know what this genetic change uh, will, will do, but maybe to have faster nerves so we can think faster, or I don't know. It's, um, you can do lots of stuff. Uh, the only problem is that biological systems are complicated. You do one thing, you, you, there, is a, there is a price. Um, we develop... Um, Um, I mean, we, we evolved uh, big crania, mm -hmm. and uh, that's why about, I don't know, these days about 28% of, of the children are born uh, with cesarean because the pelvis is not big enough for the head. Also, we are born very immature uh, because you cannot allow the, uh, 
the bones of the cranium to close at birth because they had to be able to to be uh, pressed. So all kinds of things you you can do, but you, there will be prices to pay. Okay. Uh, we have lots of of of, um, of, of we, we paid many many prices. We have teeth we don't need. Uh, the, the wisdom teeth, uh, we have uh, an appendix that we don't need. Uh, um, so we have some to, very, are, very weird... We uh, are still transforming, but maybe it's a long thing. It's not an invasive thing and that there is happening and it's okay for us because it's low. But it will, it will uh, I don't know if it's... It will, it will happen faster than we think. It will happen faster. But of course, many things that were promised, I mean, cloning was supposed to happen on a routine basis. It hasn't yet. So some things may be much, much slower than we think. Okay. Another topic, uh, interesting topic here in Italy and worldwide also, is uh, talking about um, uh, steam cells so that they can transform. Uh, we had a lot of researchers here. Have you mm -hmm. got an opinion on that? Do you like that? You don't I have like no that? problems because I do not believe in, in, the, in the sanctity of life before birth. I mean, that's a very weird position to have in Texas. <laughs> uh, because uh, most people in Texas believe that um, life is sacred before birth. After that, you can execute them. Um, so they have absolutely so I, I don't understand how people can believe in the death penalty and sanctity of life but that's whatever uh, no I, I, I think stem cells if you, you find a medicinal or pharmaceutical uh, use to it you should use them I mean there's no problem uh, many people think that stem cells are the, the big panacea that they will solve Parkinson and dementia and Alzheimer and everything I don't know Nobody has tried, nobody, uh, and, and things... You, you said we have just to try, and then Yes, we can try, I okay. mean, uh, usually the, um, the fastest uh, medicines that are developed, the fastest treatment, are those that involve um, horrible diseases, because the patient don't care, they will, they will try. Uh, you may not remember, but I mean, AIDS was discovered in, I mean, the first time that AIDS was discovered as a public health problem was in 1982. Uh, and nowadays, AIDS is no longer a, 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 death, a, 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 a death verdict. I mean, it's, it's a chronic disease that it's treatable. So, because the reason was that people were willing to take all the risks in the world and try everything, and some things worked. Okay, the so probably there will be a... a, a genetic, yeah, so I think Alzheimer yeah. and the, the, are good, good candidates for... Because yeah. there's nothing to lose. Okay. I mean, you are already not a person. I mean, in my family, I've seen Alzheimer. That's not pleasant. Okay, okay. Yes. Another part of your, your website, changing a little bit of uh, the argument, is uh, music and DNA. You have a part, it's... Uh, no, that's it's not it, mine, <laughs> but that's... Yeah, it's there interesting. Was, uh, can you explain us? Okay, so there was it? this... Uh, Um, this, you, know, you, uh, you know, we are a radio, we are a little yes, interested in music, yes. and this connection is, is yes, it's it's, interesting. Um, uh, the, the, um, a California researcher by the name of Suzumu Ono um, decided, um, he looked at the DNA at the time, and he saw that it's, um, it's repetitive. Not only that it's repetitive, but it's repetitive with variation. Okay. So it's like you take a piece and you, mul you, you duplicate it and you duplicate it again. That, that's, most of our DNA is like that. So he said, oh, this is exactly what Western music is. It's repetition with variation. <laughs> Refrain. So he translated um, the, the DNA into notes. Now, the translation is quite liberal because you have four... Um, it's an improvisation. No, no, it's <laughs> not so much an improvisation. It's, it's four letters of the DNA, A, C, T, G. You have eight notes and you have many scales and many tempos. So you can play with it. So um, he, he made music uh, together with his uh, daughter, who was a, a famous pianist. And they published, I mean, the, 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 his scores are published. Uh, okay. They are not usually performed, but they are published. You can, 
you can see them. In fact, I think I put one yeah, of yeah, them. Yeah, uh, there's two video. Yes, I, I uh, managed to. Uh, okay, and what is a good song talking about uh, genetics? A song you, you you like to listen when you're studying, you are searching. There's something you you suggest to us. For for studying genetics, yeah, something like that. Maybe there's some genetical students or biologists and so on. They want some um, <laughs> examples of good music. I know you are a good mu a, a, mus a good listener. Let's say I'm that. a good listener. Okay. I don't know music at all, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know what you you should listen. Uh, I I have the misfortune that two of my colleagues on both sides of my office listen to Wagner nonstop. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> no, no Wagner. Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I I I'm very lowbrow in music. I like popular music. I don't okay. know. Rita Pavone. Oh, Rita, Rita Pavone. Okay, okay. We can use them. La partita di pallone. That's a good yes. song. We can suggest you. Yeah, I don't know. Yes. Uh, I I wish I knew this question in advance because I have a list in which. <laughs> of songs in which uh, um, uh, 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 genetics is mentioned. Ah, okay. So I, I, I will send it later. Maybe okay, we can, can put, put it on, on the podcast. It. Yes, in yes. the article, of course. Mm -hmm. Dan Grau, thank you very much for being here. It was uh, interesting. Thank you so much. This thing we have, we should, we should talk about um, uh, a lot, but uh, you know. Thank time you so is, much okay. for having me here. Yeah. And uh, good luck for your lecture today. See you.